What's in your garage? Visits club member Dev. Good afternoon, Dev. How are you? Very well, thanks, Vince. Thanks for coming. Oh, my pleasure. And Dev, uh, how long have you been a member of the Mercedes-Benz Club, New South Wales? At least 25 years. Um, I, I guess it's closer to 27 years. 27 wow. Years, yeah. And you've got a great collection. Uh, which Mercedes have you had for the longest? The one that I have the longest is the E320, the W124. Oh, is that right? Because I had that since 2006, so I've had it for about 15 years. This coupe and in here is just amazing. A beautiful colour. What colour is that? It's malachite green. Malachite green. And do you know what you've got on the clock? It's done 127,000 kilometres now. Well. It's in amazing condition, isn't it? It doesn't have a scratch on it. Um, it it's had bits and pieces of paint, but it's never, right. been, you know, um, anyway, it, it, there are little marks here and there, of course, because it's a car has been used in the past. And um, what I like about this car is it's, it's still probably one of the most comfortable cars to do a long trip in. It's extremely quiet, rides very well, and very, very comfortable. Just look at this interior, guys. Just wait till I get inside. Now, look at that interior. Just take a deep breath, guys, because this has still got the new car smell. It's quite astonishing to sit in this car. Beautiful woodwork. It's all untouched, unmarked. Look at the car. Look at the seats. I doubt if anyone's ever sat in the back seats of this. Oh, no, it's been used. I've it has? used it. It's been on a oh, few country it. trips to Queensland. No, 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 and, uh, look at that. And, it, and it does fit people comfortably at the back. Oh, Being a coupe, it's very comfortable at the back as well. I was once you get in. lucky enough to have a uh, convertible version of these many years ago. And uh, yeah, they're a great ride. Oh, you had one? I had the 320. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Okay, I can't remember. Just yeah. beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Just beautiful. Clunk. So you've had that one the longest. Yes. And what comes next? The 6.9? 6.9. So when did um, you get this one? This one I got in 2009. And it's the second okay. 6.9 that I've had. Right. Uh, and before, before that I had a 6.3. Oh, okay. So you like those larger? Yes. And I had a very nice 6.3. Uh, probably one of the most original 6.3s. It right. still belongs, uh, I believe, to, I think it still is a club member. Uh, it's an ex Qantas pilot that owns the 6.3. Oh, okay. But this one I got, uh, and the reason that I was uh, that I particularly wanted this, it's a uh, it's an English spec car, so it's got the high compression engine. Right. And um, it was owned by an Australian who bought it from Mercedes Benz of London when it was two or three years old. Oh. And he brought it back when he came back to England. Oh, sorry, when he came back to Queensland in, in Brisbane. And while he owned the car when he was in the UK, he had it in the uh, in a dehumidified garage. Really? Now, you'll notice I've taken the carpets out because it's got a slight leak at the moment. John has ordered a new windscreen for me, oh. and new rubbers. Yeah. So I'm waiting for them to come to um, to replace the front windscreen and rubbers. So I've taken all the carpets out to dry, to make sure that they are... Right. Because a bit so of water got in when it rained heavily. This um, has got the velour We changed seats. the rear windscreen and rubber, but it's coming from the front, but it's... All the all the mats and everything are. Oh, I see. The they're all right. Okay. And look, that's something I haven't seen for a long time. That's the velour seats. Yes, it was much wow. m much more, uh, I guess, common in, in Europe in, in the UK. And and personally, I prefer it because it's it's more comfortable. It doesn't squeak. And um, not too hot in the sun. And you don't either. slide. You and don't you don't slide, slide around. Either, yeah. So it's a bit of a classic combination of a uh, Milan brown with the velour Correct. interior, isn't it? That's Goodness right. me. You can come much more original than that. Wow, well, they're very, very firm seats. That's beautiful. And um, the front windscreen is coming out and being replaced? I don't know. I don't know if it has been. Certainly not in the time that I've owned it. But it Sorry, has. I thought you said John was replacing he's the windscreen. About, he's about to replace He's it. going to replace going your windscreen. Yeah. And the rubber and the new windscreen rubber because it's leaking from the front. Wow. So we've, we've ordered the windscreen. It's got a windscreen. We're just waiting for the rubber to come from... So if anyone's after a windscreen for a 6.9, they can get one, one for you? A 116. Well, it, it, you can, yes. Wow. Yes, can, yeah. There you go, guys. 
thousand dollars. See me first. Actually, the windscreen. I don't know the exact price, but I think John said it was about four hundred dollars for the windscreen, and and the rubber is probably the same price or more because it comes from the Mercedes Classic. In I believe it's coming from the U.S., but I'm not sure. Oh, Tom Hansen in uh, Irvine, California. Mm -hmm. And I got the, the special plates when I got oh, the car. I love those. <laughs> Says it all. And it's a very original car. It's never been restored. It's had bits and pieces of paint uh, over the years, not during my ownership. Um, so there's a couple of bits of mismatching colours, but I want to keep it original. I don't want to repaint the car. Well, it looks pretty good um, under here, doesn't it? Yeah, but you do see the different shades sometimes right. when you know what to look for. <laughs> okay. But, um, and, yeah. Yeah, do you get to cruise in this much? I mean, I these do. cruise I, briefly. I, I, use, like, I yeah. use it. I like to use these on long trips when I can. Yeah, I bet. So, last December I had to go to Wagga for work. Right. So I decided to take the 6.9 Pro for a trip. Oh, I would have loved and it. I, and I got to drive in the back roads and, it's, and it is still very, very nice to drive on Australian country roads with the hydraulic, sus hydra hydraulic suspension. Yes. The hydro pneumatic well, suspension. At speed, it, it's very good on the back roads. I used to have a friend that lived, a club member that lived at Wagga. Oh, so yes. we yeah, used to yeah. go down and see him regularly and then yeah. we'd go for a drive. Yes. So yeah, you're yeah, right, the right. country lanes around there. Uh, are pretty, pretty demanding, but it was very good, very nice to drive the car on those roads. It's quite funny actually, one day we, uh, <coughs> we got there, I was with ex-president Darrell. Yes. And uh, we got to, uh, to Matty's place after the four or five hour drive, whatever it is, to Wagga. And then he says, oh, uh, do you fancy a pie? And we said, yeah. So mm. off we set to Melbourne and uh, <laughs> <laughs> went for a drive. It was oh, fabulous. Yes. Yes, that's Matt, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, Matt yeah, Matty Keen, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look at that. So if you have a look inside, um, Thank James, you, Lisa, I will. It is, it is in very original condition. I just need to put the carpets back in, of course, but it's all there. So uh, is that... Uh, miles. It's 96,000 miles. 96,000 miles. 96,000 miles. Which is nothing really for a high compression. Heat, and I got a, in the early, oh, in around 2009, 2010, I got a backer, a modern backer. Oh, did you? Uh, which, which was, which was made to look, I guess, fairly, fairly retro, and it's got a single CD stacker. No. So, sorry, single well CD, uh, no stacker. But um, yeah. nice to see that the dash is in good nick too, because they, and the door cars too, are just beautiful. But the trim, it? the trim, and, and is in, is actually in very good condition. It is, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I love this. Um, Sort of got this, a, the, uh, yeah. Yeah, instead of the um, the vinyl that yes, it's got like a black yeah. line through with a stripe. It's quite unusual and mm. beautifully done too. Stitching along there. And it's a pretty clean car too, Deb, isn't it? It's a very clean car. It, it, very nice. And it does go extremely well. Um, so the 6.9, that's the M100 engine. Right. Well, let's have a look under the bonnet, shall we? Yes.